Hello everyone and welcome to a Kerbal video and wait for it. Ooh, I love how the rapier engines start up using the new waterfall mod. It looks amazing. Get the waterfall mod. Do yourself a favor. Look how beautiful the rapier engines look. On this, a prototype SSTO that I've kind of been tinkering around with. I never planned on like making a video of it because it, it's a bit it's a bit of a weird design. I was just messing around with it as like a concept for maybe uh, something I could apply to a bigger space plane later down the line. It's just an idea I had. I had a lot of fun building it and testing it out and I thought I'd show you guys on this a one-off weird Matlown midweek Kerbal Space Program video. Uh, we're gonna fly this little SSTO. It's got a little nifty little party trick up its sleeve which I won't spoil unless I've already spoiled it in the thumbnail which I haven't decided what the thumbnail of this video is going to be but if I haven't spoiled this little SSTO's party trick then I will refrain from um, saying it now so it will be a surprise possibly maybe I don't know anyway this is a fun little SSTO uh, it's an idea I had for a while I was toying around with it having a little bit of fun designing it I never really planned on making a Kerbal Space Program video but I was like you know what you guys have been there for me through thick and thin we've been we've, we've been on a real journey together so I thought why not just make a little video out of it uh, showcase it guys is like a midweek special it's not the same sort of scale as my Saturday Kerbal Space Program videos but it's a little treat just to show you something I've been working on and it's a good opportunity for me to make a little channel announcement uh, and this is actually one of the main reasons I'm making this video I did consider just making a standalone separate channel announcement video but I thought let's let's make a little bonus Kerbal mission to go along with it so the announcement is I finally decided to join the club and uh, enable memberships for my channel so now you can join. I've got the thing. It's got. It's called the Lounge Squad. There's only one tier. I think it's like two ninety nine a month in Great British pounds. I don't know what the equivalent is in US dollars. But basically, you get a little badge next to your name when you write a comment. It looks very uh, Pog Champ. Is that what the kids are saying? I don't know anymore. Uh, you get a little uh, badge next to your name. It's like a little token with a little number on it to say how long you've been a member for. The ultimate goal, of course, being the golden 24-month badge, which, uh, unsurprisingly, you get after 24 months of membership. But not only do you get those badges, though, if and when I do live streams, and I keep saying I'm going to do more live streams, so hopefully soon, if I do a live stream, you can get custom emoji. We have a Jeb. We have a rocket scientist. We have Elon. And we have this... Uh, these are the emojis, and I'll probably add more at some point in the future, but those are the four we're going to start with. And finally, and this is something that's probably the most exciting to most people, is that uh, I'm going to try and give early access to YouTube videos to YouTube mem like members of my YouTube channel. This is already something I do for people on my Patreon, is I usually give uh, a little bit of early access whenever possible usually with Kerbal Space Program videos and space, especially space this week. They're kind of edited and on the cutting room floor all the way up until like the night before upload. So when I say early access, it's like maybe 24 hours or less. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of my work schedule. It's a very, I'm in, I, I, I run this channel in a perpetual crunch period. So uh, unfortunately, I can't offer the videos too far in advance. But hey, maybe, you know, I'll have a project in the works for a while. And then I just happen to have it ready to upload sooner than I anticipated. And then you can see it earlier. For example, one mission I was working on for a while was my How Far Can the Kerbal X Rocket Go? I kind of made a couple of Kerbal Space Program videos whilst making that one. So I had three videos on the go at one point and the Kerbal X video was ready a few days before I planned to upload it. So in that, in that instance, you could get very early access to the video. Um, this is an unscripted commentary by... The oh! 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 We're in, uh, we're in orbit! This is it! This is the gimmick of this uh, SSTO. Uh, we've got these little cargo bays at the top, which I made using uh, the structural part pieces, the nose cones, and a hinge from the Breaking Ground DLC. And it's like a little missile silo that launches a small sat. How nifty. I was quite, when I had this idea, I'm like, that would be useless and dumb and stupid. Like it would be make, might make much more sense to just use a service bay or, you know, a car, a proper cargo module, but it just looks so cool. And there it goes off on its adventure. And you may have noticed that we actually have two fuselage uh, pieces at the top. And that's because we got another one. Whoa. Am I seeing double? Uh, yes, because I'm very drunk. No, that's not true, guys. 
Um, <laughs> here we are deploying the second small set. It's exactly the same. These are basically just here to simulate uh, possible payloads. I'm only deploying. This is only a test. They're just going to... I'm not going to fly them anywhere. That's just me deploying them. But yeah, I thought that was a cool little idea. And I'd like to maybe apply this to a larger craft or try and find a bit more of a practical solution for them. Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll be able to think of some fun uh, mission idea for them, like some interesting payload that would actually... There would be a useful reason for it to be in a cargo tube like that. Who knows, if you've got an idea of how this could be actually worked into something that would make sense in Kerbal Space Program, then let me know uh, in the comments below. And if maybe if you've got a little badge next to your name, you might uh, you might stand out, look like the... Uh, Look like the most poggers of the pog champs in the comment section. I feel like this video is going to age like milk, isn't it? Where this meme uh, dies. I mean, what was the what was the one for like dab? Do you remember dabbing? That was a big thing. And now it's like, now it's what boomers like myself talk about and think that we're still, we're still relevant. But really we're not and we're just aging and time is just spiraling away before us and our lives are just going out of control and nobody, nobody knows what's even happening anymore. And, um, oh, I've, I'm still recording a commentary. That's fun. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't really think about what I, if I needed to talk about anything specific about the flight of this SSTO. I just sort of uh, took the footage, smushed it down a bit, sped it up, did some nice color correction, and then just, and then just sort of vomited this commentary into the microphone. Like I say, it, it, I didn't really plan for this to be a standard Kerbal Space Program in which I actually try and, you know, talk about some stuff that's a bit more relevant to the mission and talk about, you know, the mission itself and obviously showcase the build of the craft, etc, etc. This is just something I was just, I was just like playing around in Kerbal Space Program, messing around with some part ideas and I thought, you know what? I think this is actually an interesting enough design that people might want to see it and see kind of the things I do when I'm not specifically filming a Kerbal mission. I'm just playing around with some ideas I had, brainstorming, thinking about the next big thing I could do for my channel. This is just one of those examples. I've tried a few things that never got anywhere, like I tried building a, a folding surface base that uh, went well initially, but the Kraken always got to it, so I abandoned that idea after several hours of unsuccessful testing, which was always fun. Uh, but I, I would say in this ki this video's case, things went pretty well. I feel like this mission is not really interesting enough to necessitate a full-blown, full-scale Matt Lounge Saturday upload, but it's a little midweek treat, and it gave me a good opportunity to, uh, to announce my channel membership, which, uh, was a big thing. I really feel like I should have continually mentioned that as the as the crux point, the thing that I needed to announce. That's it. You can join the lounge squad. You get a badge next to your name when you write a comment. You get custom emojis if and when I do live streams, which I should do live streams. But if I do premieres, I think you can use the emojis. I think. And um, you get early access to videos sometimes, if if possible, if possible, if po It's not a guarantee. It's just if possible. Cannot stress that enough. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm probably more likely to, like, see your comment or reply to your comment, I guess, if you have a little badge next to your name, just because it stands out a bit more. Uh, it's less likely to be spam. Anyway, I, I've run out of footage to talk over now. Uh, like I say, I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video, and I hope you enjoy the badges and the emojis and all that other good stuff if you choose to sign up to my channel memberships. And that's it. Goodbye.